It's Terry Sweeney, contributing editor with Light Reading, and we are talking now with Masoom Mir, Vice President of Products for Cisco. Masoom, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Terry. Um, so we're, we're talking a lot about 5G and outcomes. Um, I think a good place for us to start would be with what is meant by it's all about the outcomes with, with 5G. Um, what, what sort of outcomes are we actually talking about here? Well, we have gone through multiple generations of the mobile infrastructure. Uh, well, if we just look back last few decades, uh, now mobile internet is everywhere. Uh, the, the 4G was a tipping point where it became very pervasive that we have access to internet from everywhere and mobile communication became mainstream for the consumer. Now, as you think about the next G, which is 5G, is it going to be the repeat of the same that happened or do we expect more from um, 5G? So obviously there are, there, there are multiple angles to look at it, that are we just going to go and do 5G to get a better phone or there is more to it? So when we really start to think about, you know, what is the impact, what is the impact of 5G in the broad industry? Let's start with service provider so who has been on the centerpiece of connecting people with uh, mobile internet over the last decade or so. Now, why with 5G, service provider has a unique opportunity to drive a little bit different outcome. Obviously, there will be more people connected, more devices connected through mobile communication, through 5G infrastructure. But there's something bigger happening, which is opportunity for industries and enterprises to embrace 5G as a mainstream technology. So when you think about outcome, what is the growth we can drive for our service provider customers, as well as bring efficiency, as well as uh, you know, business value for enterprises. That's super important as you think about 5G and the evolution of the 5G in the market. It's all about driving that business outcome for our service provider customers in a broad sense for the broader economy. Well, what are some of the ways that a mobile operator can um, be profitable and, and start to grow these new revenues that are promised with 5G? So it's a, it's a great question. In every generation uh, of uh, mobile communication, as well as the new smartphone that came to our hand, um, service provider has an interesting phenomenon. The demand is growing, but not necessarily the consumer pricing is going up. So we definitely have to think about what the new revenue stream and revenue potentials are. Um, parallel to the consumer demand for mobile communication, the unique opportunity with 5G is starting to show up in industrial verticals. Machine-to-machine -machine communications, uh, Industry 4.0 revolution, where the connectivity need for industries as well as you know, niche uh, enterprises are, are becoming real. Uh, that's an immediate opportunity for service providers to go and start to leverage 5G as a new technology to create new offerings and high value offerings for industries and uh, enterprises in a broad sense. Do, do you see these as new kinds of services, new kinds of apps, just different ways of using bandwidth than we've traditionally been doing it? Uh, the way we actually see the potential, it, it's beyond bandwidth and connectivity. Uh, if we look into the previous generations, if we just gave consumer more bandwidth and uh, better coverage and connectivity, the application ecosystem just evolved over the top and the cloud providers and the cloud applications uh, reap the benefit of it. But now the new opportunity really is to create a high value service. If we just think about business services uh, for, that has been provided by service provider for a very, very long time, both for the WAN, like software defined WAN technologies, um, secure uh, transport, uh, manage branches. These are the immediate opportunities to tap into for service providers and providing high value enterprise services for machine to machine communication, as well as secure communication for their employees, uh, both for small offices, as well as mobile employees. So growing new revenues makes, makes perfect sense. That's after all, while most operators are in business, um, what else must a mobile operator do to achieve these outcomes with, with 5G? So 5G also brings an interesting opportunity for all of us, uh, especially the service providers. We all know in service provider space, the demand is growing, but the operational cost is a big, big challenge. We spend a dollar of capital and then we carry a $5 of uh, operational expense. 
And these networks are large and, and it is uh, deploying a new technology at scale for nationwide coverage. If we continue to operate the way we operated previous generation, that's going to be a big challenge. So you really have to look at what are the structural costs that we can actually take out. Um, the journey of automation and orchestration at scale. 5G is right here for us to leverage the new technology that's coming from the, the standardization of the 5G software. The capabilities of cloud native technology to be fully embraced within uh, service provider operation has the biggest potential to take structural cost out, build a software defined infrastructure and automate end to end. So this is the biggest opportunity if we think about the bottom line as well as profitability of this business, not only driving top line growth, but taking structural cost out with doing pervasive end-to-end automation orchestration and build a completely software-defined infrastructure for 5G. Um, anecdotally, we're hearing some complaints from enterprises that um, they're dissatisfied with the amount of time it takes uh, to activate a new service or, or to make changes to existing services. Um, they apparently are also dissatisfied with the lack of flexibility that are offered by these services. What's, what's, what's your advice to mobile operators who clearly like, need to fix something in the equation here? So if we actually look into the enterprises, enterprises have gone through a massive transformation over the last decade. Uh, the cloud and the cloud adoption in enterprise have, have changed the dynamics. The businesses need to move faster and they cannot wait. Um, uh, obviously, when it comes into 5G, mobile operators are in the prime position to meet the demand. However, we have to be very mindful. If we don't move at the pace of the business, of the enterprise, uh, this is going to be a big loss for us. So re really thinking about moving at the pace of the business, that, that's what we have to think about. Customers of our customers, which is the enterprises and the industries who are going through massive transformation, as well as they want rapid iteration and rapid service creation. Um, this is actually possible, very much possible with 5G, but we have to, we all, both the vendor community as well as service provider community, we have to think about operating differently, getting into more software defined approach and open up more control to the enterprise. It has to become IT friendly. Interesting. Um, we'll be watching that space for sure. Um, Masoom, let's, let's wrap up by talking a little bit about um, operational transformation. Um, operators are investing a lot in 5G today. Um, what's your estimate of when they begin to see positive outcomes for their investment? So uh, obviously the, the, the investment cycle for 5G is going to be long. Um, because we think about you know, our coverage today, we have all our operators have nationwide coverage and 5G is going to change your radio technology. It's going to create demand for new access network, a new core network, as well as how do you implement, implement your 5G uh, backbone, the 5G packet core. There's a massive amount of change that they will all go through. But on the same time, you have to drive top line. So the way we look at it, you know, paying attention into the top line growth immediately that immediately we should be looking into top line growth opportunity with 5G. So you start to drive the top line growth, but on the same time, uh, this is the time to take a pause and think about how operation should be. Maybe it is not a true continuum. Maybe it is a disruption in complete new operational paradigm. So we strongly believe with 5G, while we will be investing in the 4G expansion on the same time you build the 5G, this is the time for us to take a pause and think about new way of operation, software defined operation, cloud centric operation. And outcome of that, we are very convinced within two to three years, the industry as well as our service provider customers are going to see the net positive impact and the way they can automate and take structural cost out that will have a lasting impact on their profitability of the business going forward. Um, so it may be all about the outcomes, but uh, certainly plenty of transformation inside and outside the business to be excited about as well. Absolutely. And 5G, to net it out, 5G is a core technology that's going to 
create this opportunity to transform not only how we create service, how service providers operate their infrastructure, but it will have a global impact. It will have a true economic impact in multiple industries, multiple um, enterprises. Uh, this is the next wheel of uh, next flywheel of innovation uh, just in front of us. Muslim, thanks for the context and the the insight here. This has been really, really interesting and helpful. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Masoom Mir, Vice President of Products with Cisco. This has been Terry Sweeney with Light Reading. Thank you for joining us today.